So the WASP multi-beam is a cost-effective solution to accurately map the seafloor and also see all the fish uh, in between the seafloor and the water. Right here is this thing. It is the screen for my WASP. The brains of it are all installed underneath the bunk. The huge transducer is right down there on the keel line that we've developed a special pod for to get a crystal clear image. So now here's a rock that I've recently just driven over in the boat. You can see here we are way away here in the boat, but this is what I've just driven around and this is quite dramatic. We see that there's this big gut running right up the middle, this extreme drop off here, which you would think would hold fish. Now we can't see fish on there at the moment and that's because in my display history I've got the fish marks turned off. So I just jump into the chart and I take a look at water column targets and I'm only looking at targets from the last five minutes at the moment. So if I extend that to all, now, there they go. These are all the fish marks. Well, they're not all the fish marks because you see back down here, I'm filtering out. I've got color erase set to minus 26. So anything with a signal strength weaker than that has been filtered out. These are only the big predatory fish. Things like snapper, kahawai, and even kingfish. you can kind of go, oh, I understand what it is. Whereas if you've just got 2D, you just don't have as much on a traditional sound. Everywhere I go in this boat, I've got a 120 degree beam, a swathe, that the deeper the water gets, the wider the beam gets. Because fundamentally we're trying to we're trying to meet our customer expectation and trying to interpret what that customer expectation is and deliver a product that will give our customers what they want and also what they didn't even know they wanted. just my first little scoot around this rock, you can see some of the potential from having this incredible tool on the boat. And so I can actually 3D model just like this out to 450 meters deep. So all of those deep canyons where I've previously only got a temporary 2D view, I'm now getting a permanent 3D view. So I can model all of the canyons, uh, the seamounts where I'm getting puka, bass, blue nose, those deep trenches where I'm getting swordfish. I can 3D model down to 450 meters. And when I'm not 3D modeling, I can just use it as a high definition sounder because it's 160 kilohertz, which is still a high frequency, but it's got the power to penetrate. So already I've been getting crystal clear images as deep as 650 meters. And that was on my first outing to test this out and I caught a swordfish. So already it's been successful and I'm just learning it. So stay tuned because there's gonna be more developments coming with WASP that I'm gonna be able to show you. And I've literally just got my hands on it. I'm already blown away. And once I've really got it locked and loaded this gear, not only can I show you guys, but those fish are in trouble. <laughs>